Uh, let's talk about real quick the opportunity to grow on Twitter if you're a gaming creator. First of all, we always talk about the strategies as a gaming creator, trying to send people to your channel and stuff like that, and how you probably shouldn't even do that. But the opportunity to grow on Twitter, while the conversation about gaming has increased by 75% year over year from 2019 to 2020, a lot of factors went into that like we talked about earlier, but that, that kind of might be a vanity number here. And we've talked about this before, we've seen this on Twitter specifically, um when the platform itself is slow growing that's generally going to be a sign that it's going to be difficult for you to grow as well that doesn't mean it's impossible not by any means but it means it's difficult that means when you're approaching as a gaming creator when you're approaching twitter and trying to figure out what kind of strategy you need to use you need to you need to figure out something that is unique something that is not being done that has not been done before uh a good example of this and i didn't even think to bring it up but you can people watching go and search it. it's um it's like video game edits where they just take video game and, and edit like professional clips like they make like video memes out of it that blow up there's also a uh an account on twitter for gaming that's just that is 100 focused on what animals in video games can you pet which is a brilliant idea everybody loves animals uh, it's so you have to approach it from a unique angle which i know doesn't provide a whole lot of hope for gaming creators trying to take people off to your channel so if you are a gaming creator do you need to be taking twitter seriously yes because it's still a platform that has 340 million people on it so how do you incorporate how do you set up a successful strategy as a gaming creator to build an audience on twitter well the first step is never post your never send links to youtube over twitter nothing is more frustrating than people when you just go through a, a a content creator's timeline and it's just a link here's one to youtube go check out my youtube page next post go check out my youtube page i posted a new video nobody cares nobody's on twitter to go off of twitter and you need to realize that uh people people use twitter and to get information quickly even more so than what they do with facebook even more so than what they do with instagram this is where a lot of people get their news and stuff like that you have to keep them on platform and you have to be able to sell yourself while you're on that platform as well so what does that mean what strategies can you incorporate take actual clips you know the clips that you should be making for your clips channel anyway on youtube and then repurpose them over on twitter repurpose actual gaming clips that don't link to any youtube videos Focus on building your audience on Twitter alone. Give everything to your audience up front on Twitter so they don't have to leave the platform to know who you are. And then that way, down the line, when you have earned their trust, when they said, hey, this is a valuable follow. Hey, I really enjoy this person's content. They're going to be much more likely in the future to go and watch your live streaming or check you out more to see what this person's up to. But just directly linking to YouTube it, it just it never works i get dms every single day from people like hey can you post this can you share this to my channel no that's not the way to do it so uh and i know you guys see this a lot a while you you get this all the time i know you get people messaging you uh or you just see just directly just linking to their youtube page have you ever clicked on one of those just curious no i mean i've never i'll never click on a youtube video that's linked on twitter ever there's no reason to do that because i want to watch content on twitter uh, so for folks of you that are linking off, uh, that's not the purpose of Twitter. Twitter is not there to directly promote off Twitter. And so there was one thing that got brought up a moment ago. Uh, we've got to reemphasize. And we're okay. talking about this over and over and over again in 2021. If you want to break through on any of these platforms, because they're all oversaturated, Twitter tweets about gaming went up by 75%, which basically means there's 75% more competition to break through in the conversation. So how do you break through in the conversation? Doing something unique, unique, unique. You have to do a twist on something, a new angle on something to break through. This is the same thing that's happening in streaming. We are telling you about all those streamers that are innovating in the streaming space. Sushi Dragon, Code Miko, Dr. Disrespect, etc. That are doing one new thing in their space and breaking through. The same thing is the, absolutely the case on Twitter as well. So if you're just tweeting about everything that's happening just willy-nilly and normal with normal text tweets, nobody cares. What are you doing that's different? Are you using video? Are you putting some kind of interesting angle on it? Are you doing some kind of unique value and putting some effort into it? If not, why would anyone care at all what you have to say on Twitter? And let's talk about some practical things here, Ross. Sure. I know that you don't just tweet everything from your phone, obviously, to have a super high quantity of content on your account 
you use different tools. So what are some of your favorite tools to manage a big engaged Twitter account? The the biggest tool that I use is Buffer. Um, and yeah, you can just you can find it by going to I believe they have buffer.com, but it's if not bufferapp.com. It I've got mine pulled up right now ooh, to kind yeah, of show everybody how it works. Uh, yeah. What do you want me to do here to show everybody? So I've got a tweet queued up here that I can either share now or I can edit that mm -hmm. I'm posting later today. But do you do do you nor use it normally with the Q function? Yes. So let's let's start with that. Go to your settings real quick and let's pull up your schedule. The uh, right above you. Go over to your right. There you go. Left, left, middle, middle of the page, middle of the page. Here you go. Settings. Perfect. All right. Posting schedule. Uh, the next tab over. There it is. So this is where you can actually set. This is what setting up a schedule looks like. You can create uh, a whole list of times and it's got to automatically post at these times. You can set up at any time zone whatsoever. So when you're doing this, it's also important to understand what the best times to actually tweet are. And you can do that generally just by using your brain. The most popular times to tweet are when are in the middle of the day, uh, usually from like 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern time when people are on their lunch breaks or, you know, they're getting bored at school, whatever it may be. And then also the afternoon shift when people are getting home from school and things like that from your three, three to five. So those are going to be your most popular times. But anyway, setting up the schedule here, it allows you to create a schedule. You can you can post once per hour if you want. And then when you actually go to your queue, once your schedule is set up, all you have to do is if you just go and you want to create an actual tweet there, hey, well, just like you just like you see there uh, and it just whenever I click, yeah. whenever I click create a tweet, discord grays out my screen. So I actually okay. can't demo anything live cool. for everyone. So sorry, cool. uh, no, but that, keep explaining. Yeah, essentially. And then you just go and you just add it to your queue. And then so if you have a bunch of posts that you want to get out at once, you've already got your time set. All you have to do is just go load it in. It makes it easy for me because I'm doing this with memes. So all I have to do is go uh, load the meme and hit 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 share to queue, hit load the meme and hit share to queue. And you can do this. You can also add the multiple accounts at once. You can connect your Facebook, Instagram, all of them. Just add them all at the same exact time to save you a shit ton of time. And it's super, super beneficial. Now, Buffer also gives you the analytics to talk about what kind of tweets are performing the best, uh, when your optimal times to post are going to be, if you really want to get into the uh, nitty gritty of that. But uh, there are other ways you can schedule tweets too. Buffer is the most, and you're going to have to pay a little bit of money to use Buffer. It's not much. It's like $10 a month, and it's the best $10 a month I spend. Uh, you can also use things like TweetDeck if you want. And actually, it, on uh, I believe Twitter is actually going to be working on something where you can schedule directly from the platform itself just when you go to compose a tweet. So there's going to be ways to do this. Buffer makes it easy. It makes it kind of a streamlined so you don't you know, you don't have to set the time every time you post. You already know what times you're going to be posting. You just got to load the content in and go. It's super, super easy. Well, speaking um, of being able to post uh, content uh, on Twitter and other platforms at the same time, like you see us doing right here, how are we streaming to YouTube, to Twitch, to Periscope, to Facebook, and all these platforms at the same time, Andrew Perrin? What is the magic that's making this happen? A really, really sweet little platform called Restream.io, and this allows us to add in multiple different live stream destinations, DLive, Trovo, Twitch, Facebook, uh, Facebook, um, YouTube, all together, and we can stream simultaneously to all of them. You don't need a better internet connection to do all of them. You can do it with the same connection, and you can get audience and viewership from all of them at the same time in one chat app. So all of your chat is in one place too. It's how we grow really, really well. It's how we get our brand out there. And we really, really love the platform. Gaming creators, really quick, before you do anything else, enter to win our Gaming Creator Bundle Sweepstakes, $1,100 in gear. We're giving away for $0. Link in the description below. It includes this exact audio setup you hear me on right now. It's the one we use on the podcast every single day. If you want to sound this good, this is live, by the way. This is not an edited video. This is the way it actually sounds. Let me just show you the bundle. It's freaking amazing. The bundle includes this microphone, shock mount, and boom arm. Plus, it includes the Rodecaster Pro Mixer, which is arguably the best creator mixer on the market. Plus, our friends at TubeBuddy threw in a TubeBuddy Legend license if you want to help grow that YouTube channel faster. Plus, our friends over at Restream threw in a Restream license if you want to stream to multiple platforms at the same time and grow your stream faster. Road hookup, TubeBuddy hookup, Restream hookup. They all just wanted to give you guys gear to help you succeed and software to help you succeed for free. So here you go. 
Link in the description below. Enter for your chance to win. I wish you the best of luck and I hope that you guys can maybe pick this package up and increase your quality and increase your chances of growing faster with the tools and gear that we use every single day to grow and hopefully you can use to grow as well. Link below, go do it. Thank you.